In this video, let's look at different types of manual pull stations used in fire alarm systems and then I will explain you how to install them properly as per NFPA 72 by considering few examples. Manual pull stations are devices used to manually initiate a fire alarm signal during a fire or emergency. If you want to learn more about this, you can check out my video overview of fire alarm system. Now let's look into this picture. It's a basic type of single action manual pull station. It's very easy to use. Just we need to pull this down and the alarm gets activated. That's it. Only one action. Now the next type is this one. It looks similar, but it's a double action pull station. Here before you pull the handle, you need to press this small black bar. So it's two action. Push and pull to activate the alarm. Now let's take it one level up. This one is called break glass pull station. In order to use it, first you need to break this glass. Then you can pull the handle to raise the alarm. So here you must break the glass first. That's why we call it true dual action manual pull station. Sometimes in places like gyms or schools, we want to protect these pull stations from getting damaged by accident. For that, we use this metal cage, also called a wire guard. It just sits over the pull station like this. And now the device is safe from hits or damage. But still, if someone needs to use it, they can open this cage and pull the handle. We can also add one more thing, plastic covers, and they are called as stoppers. As you can see on your screen, manual pull station is covered with stopper. It helps to protect the device from dust, tampering, and false alarms. So it's safe to use in public areas. Now that we have seen different types of manual pull stations, let's quickly understand how and where we should install them as per NFPA 72. So I'll just try to draw a sample figure to explain you the mounting height, finished floor level. From the finished floor level to the manual pull station center, the minimum height shall be 1.0 seven meters and the maximum shall be 1.22 meters and for example if you have a door exit door we look into the specific locations where we need to install the manual pull station but at each exit door we need to install this so as per nfpa 72 from the end of the manual pull station to the exit door, it should not exceed 1.5 meters. So we need to keep these two things in mind when we try to place the manual pull station. In most of the situations, the manual pull station color will be red. However, based on the environmental factors, the color might be changed or it may be varied. So now the location of the manual pull station. We usually install pull stations near the exit doors, especially the ones used to leave the building. So NFPA says it should be within 5 feet or 1.5 meters from the exit doorway. This one we already discussed in the earlier slide. So if you are designing and installing a manual pull station, just remember they have to be installed near the exit within 5 feet or 1.5 meters from the door and it should be easily visible and placed at accessible location. So protective covers may be used to mitigate nuisance alarms like stoppers, and sometimes in order to avoid some damage, we can use the cages as already been discussed. So for example, you have various exit doors. So if you have various exit doors grouped together, then we need to 
place the manual pull station obviously you will put at one side manual pull station within 5 feet or 1.5 meter however the other side also has to be placed within 1.5 meter or 5 feet when this will be applicable means if the distance is more than 40 feet so it will be more than 40 feet means it will be 12 point i will just try to draw it will be 12.2 meters so this also has to be considered now let us consider an example in order to explain you the travel distance requirement for the manual pull station and now i am just considering a particular building which has various rooms and you have two staircases for example this is a staircase and here also you have a staircase and you have various rooms assume in this way please ignore my drawing just try to understand the concept here you have a staircase and here you have a staircase so since we need to understand the travel distance requirements and the travel distance shall not exceed 61 meters okay for the manual pull station this is the most important technical aspect when we place the manual pull station as i already told you at every exit we need to place the manual pull station so where we are going to install so first of all we will install one here and one in this staircase area so i just try to draw by considering some other color so here this exit way i am drawing and one more here near the exit within 1.5 meter i will draw one more i will place one more manual pull station now we need to look the travel distance travel distance is nothing but the path of travel to the manual pull station so it should not exceed 61 meters so for example we consider the remotest location like uh, for example this is the remotest location for this one so this is the remotest location for this one so we need to check the travel distance the natural pathway so from here if you consider this distance should not exceed 61 meters if it exceeds 61 meter then we need to add one more here manual push station so for this as well we need to check for example from this far end we will check so manual push station can be checked in this way so in this way we need to place at strategic locations making sure that the travel distance will not exceed 61 meters if it exceeds 61 meter we need to add one more manual pull station from any part of the building the manual pull station has to be reached within 61 meter and it should be placed at accessible location i will explain you one more example to get clear picture in this example we have a open space area in which we have two staircases so obviously in this exit pathways we need to add pull stations here one and here one and then we need to look whether from the remotest path of the building the distance is not exceeding 61 meters if it exceeds 61 meters we need to consider one more pull station now we can consider the radius as well we can consider if it is an open space or hall 61 meter radius we can consider and draw the circle so don't just look into this just understand the concept i'm trying to explain this coverage area will be 61 meters 61 meter but if you have some rooms or buildings i'm sorry if you have some rooms so that moment we need to consider the natural pathway to check the travel distance requirement from a particular point 
hope you understand the concept of manual pull station. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. And also if you want to learn more about design considerations for horns and strobe, you can visit the link in the comment section. Also look into NFPA 72 series. Thank you so much. Bye.